This video is on the big lie and why we can really be thankful for bad treatment, a bad treatment of our past. Um, of course, we all got our initial training in life from the world. And one of the biggest lies that out, that's out there, it's taught in probably every psychology 101 course, is the lie that we are made up of who we are, what we think we are, and what other people think we are, or see us as being. There's not anything a whole lot dumber than that because it has absolutely zero to do with what other people think about us. Of course, in a sense, um, um, as a, a general rule, what other people think about us um, is going to show um, the, the way that we represent ourselves in the world and the type of fruit that we're producing, but um, we are not about what other people think about us in any way, shape, or form. Um, there is only one lawgiver and one judge, as God's word says. No one knows the spirit that is in a man except the man. He who is spiritual judges all things, but he himself is judged of no man. And what that's talking about is our born-again spirit. It's not talking about our flesh, but what's in our spirit when it says he that is spiritual. So that's um, um, highlighting or speaking about the spirit man in us, which is perfect and just like Jesus, in spite of our um, imperfections in our flesh. As we renew our minds with the truth, those things get smaller and smaller, and eventually we operate out of the spirit unless we're supernaturally downloaded um, with the spirit like people like Dan Muller and Todd White. Um, and that can happen if we turn to God with everything that's in us gratefully and thankfully believing what his word says but we're um, not about what other people think of us you know, um, here the last couple of years well you know over the course of our lives we all receive a lot of bad treatment and some of it you might say we earn in some form or fashion but again especially for those of us who are born again but regardless we're not about what other people think about us. And we're not even our behaviors, but, but what, we're, what we believe in our heart. And if we're born again, we're what G Jesus' word says that we are. In God's eyes, we're um, completely perfect because he sees the price that Jesus paid for us. Um, I'm really thankful today now for all the bad treatment that I've received from so many places over the years. You know, it kind of goes back to the Psychology 101, you know, when I was a young man. I remember him talking about how, you know, and this is just the way of the world. It was so ridiculous. Things that they were coming out with that time, the more bizarre and extreme it was, the more honored um, that it was. I remember him saying that based on tests that they did, that the average man um, thought about sex once every seven seconds. Now, I was 20 years old at the time, had an unrenewed unre mind and a strong sex drive, and I knew that I didn't even think about sex once every seven seconds. Absolutely ridiculous. You couldn't uh, accomplish anything if you did. Just such foolishness. But, you know, God, again, God's Word says there is one lawgiver and one judge. You know, I've had some, and I'm very glad for it because it just brings the point home for me all the more. Last uh, couple of years, I've had a couple of uh, Christian men that I uh, respected or would have thought were per almost uh, f flawless. A little bit, I've learned a little bit better by this point in my life. But uh, they were people that I thought were um, not capable of treating me in the ways that they did. And it, again, it just brings home the point that there's only one lawgiver and one judge. And today, it doesn't, I could care less what anybody thinks about me as far as how that impacts the way I feel about myself. We all want to be like something's wrong if everybody doesn't like us, of course. And of course, anybody who's a Christian and, and walking in the truth really doesn't have a problem with that. Unless they have some type of serious stronghold that needs to be dealt with. 
but um, it just really doesn't matter. Um, I don't care what their walk of life is, their station, whether they're an unbeliever or an unbeliever, because of all these things and because of the truth of God's word, thank God for that, because I wouldn't have it if I didn't have that. But it absolutely makes no difference what anybody thinks about me whatsoever. They can't put any type of guilt or shame on me um, at all. Uh, my self-esteem, my value is in what God's Word says about me and nothing else. Um, I'm pretty much bulletproof at that. Now I could make a mistake and do something that I would be embarrassed or ashamed about, but if if I did, it's not. It's still not going to impact how I feel about myself. There's so much tremendous freedom in that. And when we have that kind of freedom, it frees us up to be a blessing to others and minister to them in love. It's like Dan teaches so well, Dan Moeller, in his videos that, you know, if, um, if we're judging uh, others, it's be, it really it starts with the fact that we're judging ourselves. So thank God for his word. And he ain't even thank God for the testimony that we have of the truth through the bad treatment we've received from others. It's just another testimony of the truth. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you.